What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Target exclusive WWE Legends Elite Series 14 Edge and Mean Mark Callis figures. Now, you guys will notice that we have two different versions of Edge here. I have the regular version and I have the Chase variant version. And how I obtained these was pretty wild. I'll get into the story a little bit before we get started because I think it's a pretty cool story. So, you guys know what the craziness of the Ultimate Edition Batista figure. I am about to make a whole damn video on that situation. Situation, man, because I am a, I've about had it. I have been a, I've been around the damn ringer for that figure. Nonetheless, man, I will obtain it one day, and I'm gonna buy every single one in the universe. Nonetheless, man, we have these three figures here. I went to my Target searching for Batista, just searching for something. I usually hit up my Target often because in 2022, my, my Target has been off the chain. You know the little cart that they stroll out there that has all the new product on it before they put it out on the shelves? Well, Target had that little cart out in the toys section, and I noticed a little brown box that said WWE Mattel Elite Mean Mark Callis, and then I saw another box that said WWE Legends Edge or whatever the case is and i know these guys aren't supposed to technically release until the 17th of april which is what they have on the website so i was afraid if i asked him he would give me the batista talk and say oh i can't give it to you they're street dated so what did i do brad i had to take things into my own damn hands i picked up both boxes carried them across the store to an empty aisle opened them up with my keys took out the figures that i wanted to purchase and then i brought them back to said cart and put them back without him noticing i kind of felt a little bit james bondish doing it you know but uh, I got the job done. <laughs> Nonetheless, man, I'm super excited to have these figures. I did not get rejected at the self-checkout. It went through to just clean as butter. It rung up their names, everything. But also what was weird is they had a Top Picks Rey Mysterio, the new pink one, in the cart with it. And then when I went back the following day to see if the rest of the set of these figures were out, not only were these figures missing, but Road Dog wasn't there, China wasn't there, the Top Picks Rays weren't there, but the Top Picks Rocks were. Make it make sense, bro. And nobody had bought anything, so I don't know. Nonetheless, Nonetheless, man, let's get into it. You can see here you got your meme Mark Callis. You got your beautiful shots of Edge there. On the side of the packaging, you got these same inscriptions of the guys here. I feel like Edge's looks better. It may just be because Undertaker's or Mark Calloway's photo is old. But there's the side of the packaging. And then on the back, we do get their little bio reads. The rest of the figures in the wave, which I have not found yet. Which is why we're doing this 3-in-1 review instead of a 4-in-1 set review. Nonetheless, man, we're going to crack all three of these guys out of their packaging and find out what they're all about. All right, man, so all three figures are out of the packaging. Now, typically what we do in the two-in-ones, right, is we have it spinning around and all niceness and stuff like that. But for the Legends figures and the sets like that, we typically do it this way. You know, if you guys would like me to switch it over and do the similar formula instead of the quicker reviews, I feel like I feel like when we do set reviews, we kind of bring them forward one by one and do them this way. If you guys want to see a more professional presentation of the review for the Legends figures and other lines like that, let me know down in the comment section below. It's typically just because there's like, you know, there's like four or five in a set and maybe we have a Build-A-Figure, stuff like that. That's kind of why we do it that way. Because if we were to break it up into segment by segment, the reviews would be longer. Unless you guys just want to see longer reviews for sets. That's just one of the things. But just let me know down below, man. But I feel like I've rambled a lot in this video, so I do apologize. I have big issues with both of these. Now, I will say, I say both of these. There is three figures. There's just some, you know, some minor paint stuff with the Chase figure. But I will say these things definitely have issues. And uh, it's very concerning, honestly. Especially going forward with Mattel figures. I feel like I haven't had this issue in a while but we're gonna get into it man let's start off with edge first or you know what now nah, let's start off with mean mark over here man so me mark if you guys don't know who mark Callis is it's the undertaker i mean it's it's mark calloway which is the undertaker's real name this was his first gimmick ever if i'm not mistaken man way back in the day and this thing has a beautiful head sculpt i do want to get into it but i wanted to get into his accessories so so he comes with interchangeable hands you have your fisted hands and then you do have your mic holding hands and you have like the the right hand has a glove on there and it does have some nice details there with the little mesh material got a little black paint chip but there's his interchangeable hands and here's his damn good head sculpt i think this is actually a really strong head sculpt you can make like your own mark calloway figure man but here's me mark callus you know he's got the like pissed off expression you guys can see that there is an undertaker under there right i mean that is him through and through i like the facial hair i like the expression i like the hair i think it holds a strong likeness to mean mark callus and i like it a lot actually i think they nailed it now for his other accessories he does come with a cloth vest which i do love i think this vest is fantastic and this vest accessory reminds me a lot of 
Bob Orton's, right? I mean, it's like your black pleathery material. It's soft goods. I'm never going to complain about soft goods, even if it's accurate or not. So there is that. It looks good there. I mean, I might mention the inaccuracy, but I'm not going to complain or bish about it because this is sick as hell. So you do have your black vest. This could work for a lot of different superstars. And then you do have the chaps that have the booty cheeks missing right there. So you can unvelcro this and you can slide these off. And pulling them off the figure, these are very nice. Just like the vest, they're pleathery material, like the, you know, that like fake leather. They have the Velcro strap on the back. This is a very high quality piece, man. These can fit a lot of different guys from the era as well. I think they did a fantastic job on this. Very like stretchy material. You know, you want to be careful like pulling it off just so you don't poke a hole on it. But I love accessories like this right here, man. You don't have to give them anything else. This is perfection. And they fit the figure really, really well, as you guys saw. Now, I do like the formula that they use for Mark Calloway here. I like the trunks. I like the legs here. You know, I mean, I'm probably a bit sculpted here in the thighs. Like, you know, it's, he's not bodybuilder size. He probably could have used like some fatter thighs or like less defined thighs. But you got your big knee pads. You got your red, you know, calf sock style deal. You got these nice long red boots, which look cool. I love the black and red gear. Very plain Jane, but still very accurate, very nice and everything like that. He is on ball joints. I want to say this is pretty much like a big cast, except they switched out the torso for like the cane torso back in the day. And here is my issue. That is unacceptable, man. So there's no tight ab crunch whatsoever. The waist is fine, and then the shoulders feel kind of, uh, they're not like super loose, but they're not super tight either, which I guess is good. You want that happy medium, but this right here is unacceptable, man. That's pretty terrible, but you do get your double jointed arms in there. So this is like very nice. Like it moves well, it poses well, but that, uh, that loose ab crunch right there is gonna just make me sick. But I like this figure a lot. I just hate that, you know, it, it has this loose torso issue here. This this isn't a figure that I'm going to be using a ton, right? It's going to go up on display. It's not going to be one of those that's, you know, I'm just going to be posing around. I can't think of another way I'm going to have this guy except for on display on my Undertaker shelf. But at the same time, it's, it's still unfortunate. You know, you pay high dollar for these. You don't want them to be super loosey-doosey. Now, getting into Edge's figures, these are beautiful. I love these so much. Uh, for, for their accessories, they both come with mic holding hands, of course. They do come with these red sunglasses, which I think, I do believe that these are real release from his Elite 13 figure. You know, they have like the shortness here. These may be a new mold, just painted red, and then you know, or maybe those were red too. I can't remember off the top of my head. Nonetheless, you do get a little bit of sculpting here on the sides. Those early 2000s shades look pretty fire here, but those look really cool. And you guys can see their second accessory is this beautiful cloth robe. Holy crap. They also come with interchangeable like throne sitting hands, which is pretty cool. But I do want to pop them out because I want to take this robe off because this is a beautiful accessory. And here is the robe and oh my god in heaven, man. I mean, this right here is what we love to see, man. Can you imagine that that ringside exclusive negative one Brody Lee two-pack with a jacket like this, man, and the white with the Brody Lee on the back? That would have been sick as hell, but I love this. You know, his jackets did have this high gloss look to it, so I think that's super accurate. You do have your designs going down the front as at Edge had, and this is just sick, man. The trench coat is so beautiful. I will never ever, like this is the stuff that collectors love right here, man. The cloth goods. Don't ever shy away from this man this is what we love to see as you guys know here's the chase variant we will take a look at it in a moment but uh here it is on the figure and off the figure and i think it fits well you can put this on a ton of guys and i think this is going to get a lot of creativity levels going in the collection so here's the regular version this is how it will come here if you don't get any chases in the set i luckily had two chases i think i bought two of the chase figures because they had two in the box and i, w I wanted to you know get more of this red trench coat that was kind of my whole deal here but i love this head sculpt i think it captures a young edge really well i think this is one of the better head sculpts we've seen. I think the newer Edge head sculpts we're starting to see. You know, the Elite 83 was good. This one's good. We have the new Elite 94 figure coming that I love, and I think those are a lot better than the Ultimate Edition head sculpts we got, but this is good for a young Edge. I do love the texturing and the dry brushing you get in the hair. Uh, again, man, getting down into the gear, this is sick as hell. The white, gold, and black is very clean. That old school Edge look, and then they do have the kick pads accurate. Even though it is painted on here, this is something they've never done for Edge before, and they actually added the boot flaps, at least in paint like they do for Dolph Ziggler. So that's a cool detail. I didn't know they put that on the figure. So that is very sick that they at least painted it on there because that is how his boots look there. Because he didn't wear kick pads. He wore these long, tall boots with the straps. But at least they put the paint on there. Now, this is my biggest concern again, just like Mark Callis over here. Look at this right here. 
I mean, good God in heaven, I'm so sick of that shit. Like, come on, man. This one's fine. The ab crunch is good. It's not loosey-goosey. The waist is fine. But this right here, look at that. God, why? Now I gotta go buy another white one and see if I can fix the shoulder. Like, this is this is the issue I've seen since switching to double-jointed arms. A lot more loose shoulders than we used to see in the past. I can tell you that right now. But I love this figure. I think it's fantastic. I do like it better than the Mark Callis. But I do want to see what the red tights look like off the edge figure here. So we are going to undress him. So here's the chase version up next to the regular version. I do want to get this in here. And I like both of these a lot. You know, I'm guessing we're not going to get a throwback edge for a while. Any figure that gets a chase means that they're probably not going to end up with a figure for a little bit there. At least that's what they've told us. So here's the red up next to the white. I honestly don't know which one I like better because seeing edge in red gear for an elite is very rare outside of our maroon figure. But this is like that deep red, like that rated R superstar red. Even though this is way before the rated R superstar burst, still, you know, it kind of gives off bandana vibes but very cool i love it and this one doesn't have the loose shoulder like the other one did but the ab crunch is good the waist is very good and these shoulders are normal this side's a little loose but it's not quite like this one this one's terrible god in heaven man that makes me sick anyway man i love these figures i think they're great except for their looseness i think their likenesses are insane man like holy crap these guys look just like the superstars that they're representing they are target exclusive man so you can't get them at ringside can't get them anywhere else i know they're hitting all over the country so definitely go check it out and see if your store has them but that is gonna wrap up today's video man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy i still gotta track down road dog in china but hopefully when we get those in we'll be able to get all of our dx lined up i know we're still missing x Pac as well but i do want to get road dog in china in here to fill the set but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like mattel with this shish right here man